For the low main, you're going to bring your water to a boil, put a lid on it so it'll come to a boil. You've got your low main noodles and you don't need salt or oil to boil these and they only boil for about six minutes. So okay, now we're going to put together a sauce for our lo mein noodles, okay? So we're going to start out with two tablespoons of soy. Now, you really need to use light soy if you want to use that many tablespoons. So I may just use a tablespoon and a half. We're gonna start out with a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce. If you have light soy sauce, you can do the full two tablespoons. We're gonna put in a half teaspoon of ginger. This is a quarter, so we'll put two. Okay, there we go. Brown ginger, soy sauce. Next, sesame oil, a teaspoon. Two teaspoons of sugar. And we're gonna put in a teaspoon of this sweet chili sauce. And mix this up well. I'm going to add a little olive oil. All right, we're going to add our veggies. We're going to get these nice and tender for our lo mein. Now you can julienne those carrots. Um, it would be prettier if you would do that, but I wouldn't do the thinking, I just thinned them. I just slice them thin, like I normally do. I'm gonna add just a little salt and pepper to these. We're going to cook these until they're a little bit tender, then we're going to add our meat. And lastly, we'll add the noodles. All right, we're going to drop our noodles. It takes them six minutes. I'm going to open this up. It's nice and boiling. And I've got 10 ounces of lo mein noodles. They're wrapped in little serving sizes, but they're, there you go. Put your timer on. Veggies over here. It's great to have everything prepped and ready when you do this dish so that it comes together at the right time. Like I said, if you don't like big hunks of veggies, then you can julienne your veggies, but I like big pieces of vegetables myself. I have got one breast and a half cut up in very thin slices and pieces to add once I get these vegetables where I want them. We're gonna go ahead and add our chicken. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot these veggies over a little bit. And we're going to 
start chicken in here. I'm going to go ahead and salt it and pepper it. Now this chicken is really thin, so it shouldn't take it a long time to cook. I'm keeping it on this side so I can kind of keep an eye on how pink it is before it gets mixed in with all these veggies. Just continue to turn it until it all looks like. All right, it's been in here a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna start mixing it together. Get some of that butter on the chicken. Almost time for the noodles to be done. Okay, at this point, if you see some pieces that are still raw, like this one right here, pick them up and flip them down on the, on the bottom of the skillet so that they, the chicken gets done. The timer has gone off for the noodles. This is our lo mein. Smells good, just by itself. Smells really good, y'all. Now we're gonna add it to our skillet and add our sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the eye and we're going to pour our sauce on here. And start mixing this up. I didn't have mushrooms. There are several things I didn't have when I normally would make this. But sometimes in these days and times, you just gotta use what you got. Don't you? Make sure you get you some chicken on your plate. Some noodles look yummy, don't they? Okay, let me get me a fork. Let's check this out. When I make Asian food at home, most of the time, uh, my kids don't think it has enough flavor. And I think it does. But they always want stronger flavors, and I think it's because they're used to eating at Panda Express and places like that, um, where they do load, load it down with sauce. Um, but I like the, just the flavors, the Asian flavors. I don't have to have tons of thick sauce on mine. Now this is a green onion and I'm going to take and take off the outer layer of them. I usually just grab the, the outside um, leaf and pull it off. Then you're down to the bare onion and then we will trim the end of the onion off and I'm going to rinse these off and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to line them up, snip off the ends, 
I also snip off the ends on this side. And this is going to go in our stir fry. That was a bad leaf. So I typically, if they're really fat, I slice them in half. I'm just gonna slice these two in half, the other one I won't. And then I cut them on a diagonal. Just like that for our stir fry. We've got a pepper right here that we got out of the garden. It's already been rinsed off. Remember, lo mein is not supposed to have a lot of sauce in it. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Good supper.